Do you want to learn Revit? Or you need training material for your business? Join thousands of users and download the Revit Pure Basics Learning Package. It is the most fun and efficient way to learn Revit. It contains an ebook, video tutorials, a template, and an exercise project. Learn more at revitpure.com basics or check the link in the description below. When creating railings in Revit, you can constrain balusters to top rail and intermediate rails, but not to handrails. This video explains how we can assign balusters to rails. In this example, we want to modify the railing on the top so it becomes like the one below. Select the railing and click on Edit Type. As you can see, this railing has two different intermediate rails. Make sure to give them a custom name for easier identification in the balusters menu. This railing type also contains a top rail and a handrail. Now click on Baluster Placement. First, duplicate the existing baluster. Then, modify the base and top constraints of each baluster. For the first one, we're going to put circular rail as the base and yellow square rail as the top. The second baluster is going to have a yellow square rail as the base and top rail element as the top. As you can see, it is not possible to use the handrail to constrain the balusters. Click on OK. We now have two different balusters constrained to the rails. In this case, we want the balusters to be aligned with one another. Go back to the balusters menu. On the second baluster, change the distance from previous to zero. The balusters are now aligned with one another, each using a different profile. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the basics learning package.